and welcome back to the 97070 show. We are your source for sports news at Wilsonville High School. Many of our athletes have been working hard, and the results are evident. First off, our volleyball team is 7-0 in their season so far. They're currently leading their conference and ranked sixth in their league. On Tuesday night, the volleyball team played the Putnam Kingsmen at their court. The Wildcats dominated the first two sets, but the Kingsmen weren't going down without a fight. It was a close third set with the Wildcats being down 15 to 20, but the Wildcats managed to capture the win in just three sets to previously unbeaten Putnam. That's incredible. Congratulations to our Lady Cats. For soccer this week, our girls traveled to Lake Oswego to play Lakers on their home field. Just a few minutes in the game, freshman Lindsey Antonson scored putting Wilsonville up ahead 1-0. The Lakers quickly turned, o turned over the game winning 2-1. Tonight they're playing at Lincoln at home at 7. Good luck tonight, girls. The boys played Gresham this week, which resulted in a 2-2 tie. For the season, the Cats have one win, two losses, and one tie. Good luck, boys, as league play is approaching soon. Hey, Sydney, I think we're leaving out the most important thing. How could I forget? Congratulations is in order to our varsity football team for beating the Churchill Lancers 57-50 in a nail-biter game. This game will go down in history as Jonah Gomez caught the tip pass in the end zone and win the game. The pass was intended to Sam Westing, then jostled away by a Lancer defender, snatched by Jonah Gomez to take the victory. This was absolutely incredible, a game many of us will remember for the rest of our lives. We have special guest Sam Westing here with us today to give us a little more info on last week's game. Over to you, Saban. Thank you for joining us, Sam. What did you do to have so much success with 73 yards and three touchdowns and a game-winning tip to Jonah last week? Well, week one against Crater, Jonah had a really good game backside, so I think Churchill scouted so that they could stop him, which left a lot of opportunity for me to make plays. Yeah, that's awesome. How the team prepare to have so much in the passing game, having over 460 yards? Well, Cooper's been out, so we had to step up through the air. Nathan did a really good job doing that, and also... They ran commit, which means they brought a lot of people in the middle so we couldn't run as much, so we did a good job to adjust. Yeah, you guys did. After a big win like that, what does that mean for the team to not get complacent and overlook next week's opponent? Well, it's just motivation looking ahead because coach tells us to take each game, each game's the most important game, and uh, we know Churchill will probably make it deep into the postseason, so we hope yeah. to look forward to seeing them again. Yeah, for sure. What's the game plan for next week against Cleveland? Um, they run a lot. They, I think it's 80 to 20 running to passing, so just yeah. stop the run. Yeah. On the last play of the game, was it designed for you to tip the pass to Jonah to stress the, all the fans out? I mean, we can say that, but <laughs> I think everyone knows it wasn't. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Thank you, Sam. Now back to you guys. Thanks, Saban. And that concludes our show for this week. I'm Sydney Gutridge. And I'm Brennan Earl. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching and, and go, go Cats. Cats.